Welcome back to the Design Lab. I'm Bill Linderman, and today we're going to work on some wonderful ribbon rings that we've used. They're great for Valentine's Day, great for weddings, and it's a very simple thing to do, and I hope you enjoy it. First off, we're going to take off with a 12-inch styrofoam wreath form that you can get at your local supply house, your local floral supply house, or your local craft shop. Um, what I want to do first is wrap the wreath with the ribbon, cover those mechanics, and we're just going to basically take the ribbon. It takes approximately five yards of ribbon to go around a 12-inch wreath form, and we're just going to go in with some simple straight pins, and this is our wonderful double face satin that we sell here at Burton & Burton. And again, we're just going to wrap this wreath form with our double face satin ivory for this particular one. What you do is just keep going around. And what I did is I rolled the ribbon up. It's a lot easier to cut your length and then roll it. It just makes it so much easier to work with. And it doesn't take a lot of time to do. Just keep it as tight as you can going over each time and holding it in place. You want it to get it as smooth as possible. You'll have a few little wrinkles, but that gives it that handcrafted look. All right, so once you reach the end, you're just gonna pull your ribbon around and you're gonna go back with three more pins. A little helpful th hint also is to put a magnet in the top of a cap of your pin holder. So once you wrap your wreath, you come out with a nice finished edge, nice satin finish. Now we're going to step, go to step two. I've already pre-cut all of my streamers. All of my streamers are two yards each. So there are five ivory lengths of ribbon, six rose sheer lengths of ribbon, and eight number five ivory shear lengths, all two yards. Once you've finished your wreath wrapping, you're going to cover your mechanics right here. So that's going to be where your first two yard length of ribbon will go. So you just go across the center there and hold it in place. And you're going to tie a basic knot. And the ribbon slips, so you want to be, make sure you just keep your finger on the knot there. And then I double knot to make sure it doesn't come out. And pull it tightly. So that's your first streamer. And you do these in layers, basically. So the next piece will be an ivory, and you're gonna go to the left of it or to the right, whichever you prefer first. You're going to repeat this for five lengths of ribbon. So you see what we're doing is we're evenly spacing them so we know where our, our center is. And I usually work from one side to the other. And we're going to go between each of these other streamers. And you're just going to double knot it. This would be really pretty for any type of wedding color. You could use whatever colors are the colors of the wedding. Or if you're doing Easter or Valentine's, red and white. This particular piece, we're going to finish it off with that wonderful heart that we at Burton and Burton are selling with the lace applique. I don't want it twisted. Once you finish your next color, look how lovely that looks. And we're gonna add another layer for more texture. So I'm going to go on the top of that with a number five shear between each section here. And we'll have eight of these. Again, find your center, tie it off. It does help to have all your um, ribbon pre-cut with a dovetail. I like the dovetail better than I do the angle because it just gives you more of a finished look. And there we have 
all of our streamers attached to your ring. So with our finished product, you see how like lovely and lush that is. We're using five two yard lengths of number nine ivory satin, six number nine rose shear, and eight number five ivory shear ribbons to create the streamers. When you finish your wreath with your streamers, just go back and create a hanger, any length of ribbon depending on how far down you want your ribbon ring to hang. So you could do two yards, you could do three yards, you could do five yards, depending on how tall your ceilings are or where you're hanging it from. To take it one more step, we're going to add a lovely linen and lace heart to our piece. We've made our hanger, and what I want to do is just take a simple corsage pin and go through the hanger of the heart at the top of the wreath to hang the heart ornament. And there we have a finished product. Once you learn the technique, you can go to a different shape. You can use a heart shape form, change your colors. It's endless. Thank you for watching. And for more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at burtonandburton.com. Thank you.